Howdy folks, it's me, Cowboy Short, and today is National Read Across America Day. March the 2nd is uh, Dr. Seuss's birthday, and so that's how we celebrate it here. And so today we're going to read the wonderful story called Barney's Horse by Sid Hoff. Wonderful author, illustrator, lots of good books with horses in them. Long ago, horses pulled wagons up and down the streets. They were there were even horses that pulled streetcars. Barney the peddler rode down the street with his horse and wagon, shouting, Apples, onions, potatoes! Get your apples, onions, potatoes right over here. There's Barney. Didn't say what his horse's name is. Ladies came out of their houses to buy for him, from him. Barney's horse stood at the curb waiting. He swished his tail to chase the flies. Children petted him and fed him sugar cubes. <clears throat> That's good, children. Always be kind to animals, said Barney the peddler. Barney let him sit on his horse's back. He let him ride on the wagon around the block. Then Barney would ride off to another street. Goodbye, children, called Barney. I will see you tomorrow. One day, men came with picks and shovels. They started to dig. Barney and his horse stopped at the curb and watched. Soon, people will be riding on trains over our heads, said Officer Muldoon. The city, a city has to grow, said Barney the peddler, and he petted his horse. There's Mr. Officer Muldoon. All day, Barney sold fruits and vegetables all over town. When it got late, people heard clippity-clippity-clop as Barney headed back to the stable. Barney brushed his horse and put a blanket on him. Good night, sleep tight, said Barney. He went to sleep right next to his horse. There's Barney and his horse. It was the day the train started running. People climbed the stairs to get on them. Men with push carts stared up at them. Dogs and cats were staring too. Everybody was staring. Screech, screech, went the wheels on the tracks. The train swayed. The ground shook. Run away, horse, run away, horse, someone shouted. Down the street ran Barney's horse, pulling the wagon. See him? Oh, my. Run away, horse. Whoa, wait for me, shouted, shouted, shouted Barney. But Barney's horse ran faster and faster. Can't catch him. Children tried to catch him, but Barney's horse was too fast for them. Officer Muldoon stepped off the curb and waved his arms. Whoa, feller, whoa, he said softly. Nobody wants to hurt you. Barney's horse came to a halt. He let the policeman hold him and, and pet him until Barney caught up with them. I guess your horse will have to get used to the train, said Officer Muldoon. We all will. We will all have to get used to them, said Barney the peddler. Barney petted his horse. He gave him a big, juicy apple. When he got back on the wagon and rode off shouting, Apples, onions, potatoes, get your apples, onions, and potatoes right over here. The city grew and grew. More and more trains ran. The ground shook under them. But Barney's horse did not seem to mind. He never ran away again. Well, almost never. He knew Barney needed him. I have to figure out a name for Barney's horse. Thanks, guys, for coming in and, and enjoying the time we have here with Cowboy Short. See you all later.